Hi everyone, Paul here with Newegg TV, and I'm here today to talk to you about this Corsair memory that I have right here in front of me. More specifically, I'm going to talk today about density, memory density that is. Uh, but before I get into this specific memory and some of the specifications of it, I want to provide you guys with some visual aids. So here we have Exhibit A, and this is a motherboard made by ASRock. And right here you can see the DIMM slots. There are four of them, and uh, if you've looked at most motherboards in the past, I don't know, couple of years, chances are they have DDR3 memory, they, and they have a four DIMM configuration like this. So that's Exhibit A. And here is Exhibit B, which is this motherboard's manual, and specifically right down there in the memory section, which is right in the middle. You can see that it says we have dual-channel DDR3 memory, that supports overclock speeds and a max capacity of 32 gigabytes. If you've watched any of my motherboard videos for the past, oh, I don't know, year or so, I've been talking about these dual channel motherboards and that they support 32 gigs, but chances are you're not going to be able to actually install that much memory. And that brings us back to our featured product today and back to the top topic of density. Density in memory modules, uh, beyond at least the 4 gig capacity DIMMs that we uh, have become quite commonplace, is uh, a bit more difficult to obtain. So these 8 gig sticks uh, have been a bit longer in actually coming out, but they are now available. And this specifically is Corsair's 8 gigabyte Vengeance uh, memory module. It's 240 pin DDR3 SD RAM. Uh, it has a speed of DDR3 1600 a cast latency of 10 at 1600 speed, and timings of 10, 10, 10, 27. Also 1.5 volts, and it does have Intel's XMP, or Extreme Memory Profile support, for easy overclocking of your memory in your uh, motherboard's BIOS, if it supports XMP. Um, now, another question you might have is, well, Paul, I have, say, a 16 gig kit or something along those lines like these. Uh, I have some of the 4 gig modules that are readily available right now. What can I actually get by doing, say, 8 gig DIMMs and, say, going up to a 32 gigabyte capacity and maxing out the memory on my current generation motherboard? Well, I will show you. So I jumped over to my test bed here where I have installed both of the 8 gig DIMMs that I have on hand uh, using an X58 platform and a Core i7-2700K. Uh, so first off, I can just pull up my control panel where you can see the 16, gig, uh, 16 gigs of installed memory. Bear in mind, you will need a 64-bit operating system uh, in order to recognize more than about 3.2 or 3.3 gigabytes of memory. So make sure you're using 64 gig if you want to go for higher memory capacity. Uh, now what I have done is used a little free software called Starwind. It's a RAM disk software to set up a RAM disk. And right now, since I'm using the free version, it's just a 1 gig RAM disk. But there's lots of software solutions out there that will let you set up a RAM disk. Basically, if you've ever partitioned a hard drive before and set aside a certain portion of the hard drive for separate use, it's essentially the same thing. You're taking your installed memory, you're setting aside part of it, and your computer recognizes it as a hard drive or any drive that you have atta attached for storage. I must give a quick shout out here to my friend JJ from ASUS, by the way, for tipping me off uh, for making use of the increased RAM capacity in this method. But uh, now that we have a RAM disk set up, we can actually run some benchmarks. And for starters, I'm going to show you this is actually uh, the benchmark for Corsair's Force 3 drive. You can see some very respectable SSD benchmark numbers up here of uh, about 480, 470 megabytes per second. This is using Crystal Disk Mark. Now, I ran this same test, uh, albeit a 500 megabyte test, since I only had a 1 gig drive to work with, uh, on our virtual RAM drive that we set up. And here are the results down here. So you can see that when you actually get up to a capacity of around 32 gigs, you might actually be able to set aside a fair amount of that, 20, 25 gigs, as a RAM drive, depending, of course, on the software that you're using. And you can get these absurd speeds uh, that you see. Notice the, the lack of decimal points here. We're running at over 6 gigabytes per second uh, read and over 9 gigabytes per second write. We're getting crazy input-output operations per second numbers over here in the 330,000, 270,000, 300,000 range. So obviously a huge, huge jump in speed as compared to your traditional SSD or hard drive storage. So you can set that aside. It's a virtual drive. Uh, your computer will need to set it up when it boots up or when it shuts down. Uh, but if you have more capacity, say you set up 10, 20, uh, 20 plus gigs, then you can actually do things like install 
uh, frequently used programs to that, run the programs off the RAM drive and get crazy amounts of speed. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the Corsair Vengeance series of XMP rated memory. These are the 8 gig memory modules that we have here. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.